step. Why? Let me tell you why. Let me step. God in me. It's God you talking about. Let me step. God in me. It's a God. What? Let me step. God in me. God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. Well, let's step. God in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught us how to treat the whole God, God, the Son, the Lord, 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 the Hello. 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 I don't know. I, I always wanted to do commercials, you know? <laughs> or an maybe, ad. Maybe, yeah, yeah, ad. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get to do a commercial on a, a, on a positive power for Jerry Roy. It's like Paula G did. She has such a, a nice, smooth way of... Oh, uh, no, it's presenting. Lady Wisdom. Lady Wisdom. Oh, that was Lady Wisdom? Paula G. Is that Paula AKA G, right? Lady Wisdom. Okay, and shout AKA out to Lady, Lady Wisdom, because I did yeah. I see her on an ad. She was on um, yeah. someone's ad. Yeah, she, praise she, God, expanding, she's really moving. Uh, doing things for the kingdom, working yeah. for the Lord in yeah. just unorthodox ways. Yeah, God is good. Speaking of goodness, yeah, that's what we've been oh. talking about all month long. We've been wait a minute, wait ways. a minute, mm-hmm. hold on. Who are we? I'm Mr. Devil Slayer. <laughs> yes, we are the Devil Slayers. That's Lowercase d, capital hey. S. Right? Hello, you're supposed to say I'm Mrs. Devil Slayer. I'm Mrs. Devil Slayer. Yes, and I'm Mrs. Devil Slayer. All right, and we are and the love we are, We're all live, right? Yes, I'm just saying. <laughs> Come on. Excuses, <laughs> y'all. Amen. <laughs> Listen, I have, to, I have to put it out there. I have to put it out there that, yes, we are the De- Devil Slayers. Yeah. I am Mrs. Devil Slayer, but we got to make let people know that it's a lowercase d, capital S, mm. Double Slayers. Okay. Yeah, what she said. You're Amen, right. yes. Amen. And Amen. this is the love chapters you're tuning into live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Positive Power 21 yeah. Radio Network. Shout out to Jerry Voice. A.K.A. the Batman. Yes. yes Amen. You love Amen. that guy. You love that guy. Hey, listen. Can, mm-hmm. can I say something? I, I just want to say... Um, uh, the the last uh, broadcast with uh, Pastor Terrence Frederick uh-huh. talking about his book. He said something that was so important. He was talking about, you know, he, he was praying for the book to be a bestseller. But uh-huh. then, you know, God spoke to him and told him, you know, that that book is going to touch who, it's, who it needs to touch. It needs to touch, right. That's, that's, we see, we, we got to remember, we're not in this for... Um, we're not in this for the fame. We're not in this for the ducats, the cream, the cash. We're not in this for ourselves. We're in this for the people. Whatever, whatever God has blessed us to do, we got to remember that we're blessed to be a blessing. We don't have to think about it ourselves. God's going to take care of us, but it's for somebody else, you know? So that's very important that we remember that one thing as we move on in our journeys with the Lord. Amen. 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 Shout out to Pastor Terrence for just bringing perspective. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 So we Wanna just pray in bed? hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. And yes, we can. Um, well, no, babe. No. Slow, oh, I'll, slow I'll down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, go. we got a guest. So when we have a guest, the guest always prays. You remember? Right. Right. True. True. <laughs> But on that note, I think you should actually pray. Did you like that, that little twist? Yeah, I like that plot twist. Amen. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for another blessed day. We thank you so much for the miracle of today. Somebody said that God don't, God is not in the business of miracles. That's a lie. If you, if you open your eyes today, that's a miracle. That's a miracle. If you, if, if, if you, op- if, thank you, God, for opening our eyes today because there's so many people that didn't open their eyes. Hallelujah. We thank you, yes. Father God, for oxygen. We thank you, Father God, for life. And thank you, Father God, for the breath that you breathed into us to make us living beings, living souls. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, that. Um, today was the best day that you made. Tonight is the best night that you have made. And this is the best uh, uh, radio broadcast 
on uh, the internet, Father God. So we thank you for blessing us to be your tools, to be your to to be your uh, conduits to present your 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 glory. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Father God, for the woman of God that's going to come on the line and and uh, talk about more than her book, but her life, Father God. We thank you that this is going to be uh, uh, a, a broadcast that's going to uh, deliver people. Uh, it's going to make people want to forgive more, Father God, make people want to be delivered more and just get closer to you, Father God. Let this broadcast be all of you and, un and none of us in a mighty, immaculate name of Christ Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus, the King of King and Lord of Lords and the Lord of all kings and the King of all lords, all presidents, all prime ministers, all dictators, all leaders. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Adonai. Amen. Adonai. Amen. Thank you, husband, for that Adonai. prayer, for that beautiful prayer. So, amen. Um, yes. Amen. Let's get right into it. So, uh, we've been talking about the goodness of God. Well, that's been our subtitle um for about three weeks now and uh we're continuing talking about the goodness of god but we've had on a guest uh, we've had a guest on and her name is antoinetta mitchell um you can Your go family. back and tune in to the other episodes because she, she was just sharing some it was there were there were some heavy 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 uh nuggets Whoa. in there and Whoa. we really got to the heart of some things um and my husband was led to have her back on so God can yes. continue the process. And we do believe that deliverance was going forth and healing was going forth. So Hallelujah. that's the goodness and manifestation of God. If, if anything else is, that is the goodness of God. When you can catch yes, up Lord. to your deliverance, yes, in Lord. the mighty name of Jesus. And not just that, cool. we also touched on... Um, the ability to forgive, that's the goodness of God for us to yeah. be able to have the ability to do things that we might not think like forgive when it's hard to forgive when we're hurt, yeah. forgive in the midst yeah. of um, despair. And that's yeah. something that Antoinette Mitchell talks about in her book. And we were exploring that. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into have her back on and just get right yeah. into this episode. Welcome back. Antoinette Hi, hello. Mitchell, oh, yes. author of Good Face the Music. You. Welcome. Welcome, 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 Antoinette. Hello, welcome hello, back, woman of God. Welcome hey, can I, back. Can, can, can I, can I usher, usher this in correctly before she, we begin to speak? Sure. Because you said something that was very important. You talked about um, catching up to deliverance. But what, what, what the Lord put on, on our hearts some years ago was to talk about uh, when we talk about catching up to the deliverance, mm -hmm. what that means is is that when you have chose chosen uh, Jesus as Lord and Savior, okay, you have automatically received the grace of God. In the grace of God, the, uh, whatever benefit there is in heaven for you, it's already there. So you've already been. You, you you you've already been esteemed you've been highly esteemed you've already been blessed you've already been favored as well you've also been healed and you've also been delivered now a person with a hurt back might say i i, I can't have i can't have been healed already because i'm still hurting but you have to know that you 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 can call things into being whatever is in heaven is here on earth so you have to say i am healed well it's the same thing with deliverance you've already been delivered okay the point of the matter is is that you could still be sinning not knowing that you've been delivered from whatever that sin is you can have unforgiveness in your heart not already not already knowing that you've already uh, uh, that you all that, that you've already been forgiven and that you could forgive others. So what happens is that there's a process that you have to catch up to the healed process, the delivered process, the highly esteemed process, but it's already been done. It's already there for you. 
So that's what we need mean when we say you have caught up to your you, you're catching up to your deliverance stage because you've already been delivered from from hurt, from pain, or whatever the case. So that's what it means to be catching up to your deliverance. You're catching up to your deliverance. You're catching up to your healing process. You're catching up. Amen. So and 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 guess what? Due to the fact that we have to renew our minds every day, you, we're catching up all the time. So we've been talking to Sister Antoinette about um about forgiveness and 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 we just found out she just found out herself that she already for, has forgiveness she, she's already forgiven she just didn't know it amen and then on, on that note sister Antoinette, the floor is yours yeah, what are your thoughts? <laughs> hello <laughs> yes. on what my husband yes. just shared <laughs> jump on in he's um he's absolutely right and i did that our last segment i did um realize that I actually have already had forgiven without any, without me even knowing. Mm. So yes, that was pointed out to me in our last segment. Amen. Wasn't it wasn't it a pressure releaser for you though? It was kinda it was I wanna say I don't want to say like a relief. It was more like I'm I'm glad that was brought to my attention because as i said previously i fought with that mm. i fought with not knowing if i had because i was still feeling certain types of pain yes yeah. if that answers your question sorry Definitely, yes. definitely, definitely. Amen. What? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that those are all valid. I mean, you're not the only one that has questions. You know, last episode, you were asking questions like, hmm, if I'm feeling some sort of way, does that still mean that I've forgiven that person? Um, mm -hmm. Hurting still, or if, if something rises up in me, does that still mean that I have forgiven them? A lot of people go through that. A lot of people go through that thought process. And forgiveness, one, is a choice, is a decision. We spoke about that mm -hmm. last time. It mm -hmm. involves making a decision. But once we make that decision, then we're allowing Holy Spirit to come in to help us. Yes. And our emotions will catch up to that decision. So yes. to answer your question. And that was very really interesting to hear. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You see what because happens is go on, go on. I'm sorry. Please go. Please, please. It's go just on. like the only reason why I had questions is because some of the things, you know, the book is my life story. So mm -hmm. some of these things that are painful are still occurring. Mm. So it's like <clears throat> That's why I had, you know, that question, but it was good to hear that. Well, it was good to realize that I have letting that go. I have, I have forgiven. But now, just like he said, it's all different levels, yes. different levels. It is. And I can't wait till I get to the level that I need to be where I can actually speak without the hurt you want if if you understand what i'm saying yes 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 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. devil slayer well, you wanted to say something sure 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 you know that's 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 why um the word says that we must congregate we must get together we because uh being with like-minded people who know about the grace of god can help you to get over um, those hurdles, uh, because we've been through it too. We've been, we've been through our, our hurts and, and then we can share it with you as well. And so what, what we all need, we need a voice. We need, we need to be able to have a voice to speak about these things, which actually helps us confront the hurt. It sure. actually helps us to confront the hurt and then be able to deal with it. it ha half the battle is already one of you getting over the hurt by the simple fact that you can identify it. 
you know, and to have went on for such a long time, probably holding a lot of hurt in, you know, you can you can also feel you can also feel so isolated. And that's just where Satan wants you to be. Yeah. It wants you to be isolated because it, it believes in the moniker divide and conquer. And so, so it doesn't want us to congregate. It doesn't want us to come together. It doesn't want us to communicate. Okay, so that you, so that, so the, that, that, that hurt, that hurt can sometimes, uh, uh, guilt can creep in, uh, unforgiveness can creep in, bit with, and unforgiveness uh, and, and, and guilt are actually the cousins of bitterness. You know, so bitterness takes a handhold, uh, uh, and before you know it, man, you got weeds all in your, uh, all in all in your garden. You know, until it's overrun. You can you can actually feel like that until you come into contact with individuals who have been there with you, who have a who have a word that they can share with you from the word of God, from the voice of God. Hence you will begin to overcome your hurt. Amen? Does that make sense? Amen. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Um, amen. Well said, well said, well said. Um, I was just um, looking at your book because I know that we had, we had taken a few excerpts from Closure, and I know that you said you're still uh, walking through, and we're going to just say that you're still walking through uh, the levels of the different levels of forgiveness and that's okay because there are levels um, but we had shared you know because we're speaking to that person that is in your shoes and that can't even get to that first level and so in your book you talk about the first thing to open up that door is to some people can't even get the prayer out some people are not even there to even pray for that person that has hurt mm-hmm. so deeply what mm-hmm. what would, what kind of um what would you want to say to that person or that individual? On um, how to open the door to just accept things for what yeah. they are? Y- yeah, or even just to start the process of saying, you know what, I, I'm at the place where I'm going to make that decision or they're not even there yet, you know? <laughs> how do you, well, what, what would you say to them yeah. Well, I want to honestly try to find the correct answer, but it's it's like I'm not even there yet. As I, I'm not saying as far as I choose to just, and it's sometimes, I don't know, it may work for some people and maybe not, but I'm trying to learn now to accept it, even though it's hard still. It's a hard thing. It's easier said than done. But I'm trying to pray more to God to ask to help me to accept the fact that some things are just not going to be answered. And just to help me to not just understand why they're not going to be answered just to deal with the no answer because mm-hmm. in a sense when we pray to God we deal with that anyway we don't mm-hmm. we we hope we when we pray we're waiting for whatever change we're asking for or whatever it is we're asking for mm-hmm. 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 so in a sense when I pray I I asked him, that's the only thing I could really advise someone because I'm still going through that now. And I do it, (laughs) I want to say, almost every other day. Mm -hmm. Because as I stated, I'm still going through it. Amen. 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 Well, I appreciate your transparency. Um, I want to go to scripture. Uh, Let's see here. You had this scripture in your in your chapter closure, Matthew six fifteen. Would you like to read it? Uh, would you like to read that scripture? Mm-hmm. 
Nation Man. If you're uh, tuning in, you're listening to the Positive Power 21 Radio Network. This is the Love Chapters, Mr. and Mrs. Devil Slayer. We have Antoinette Mitchell. We are facing the music. Facing I just wanted. Hearts. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. I just I just wanted to well um, Antoinette gets that together. Mm-hmm. I just wanted yeah, I to. Uh, uh, let me just say this real quick. Um, in order, in, it, uh, 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 Sister Antoinette has said it greatly. You know, you gotta, you gotta stay in touch with God, and then you gotta read, you got to read your scripture as well, because the scripture will remind you of where you're supposed to be in forgiveness. If you go to Psalm 130 verse four, it says. But with you, God, there is forgiveness. Yes. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. She said Matthews. Okay, what scripture was that? Six and 15. The scripture that uh, you have in your chapter here on page 130, Matthew 6 and 15. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm, you want me to read it? Yes, please. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> but if you do not forgive others their sins, your father would not forgive your sins. There you go. There you go. Yes. I think, now, go on, Beth. Go on. No, go ahead. I, okay. I think go that on. for all of us, when we look at the recompense, all that Jesus has done for us on the cross, if that right there, if anything else, that should be a motivating factor. If we can't find any other reason, that, in my opinion, would be the motivating reason that is, I'm just looking at my own life, the reason why you just make that decision because things Things are put into perspective. Once you start thinking about how Christ has forgiven you and you start thinking about all the things that you know that you don't deserve, you shouldn't have this and that, and you're like, wow, that helps. In my opinion, I think that that helps. Can you agree or disagree? No, I agree. I agree. It's just, you know, some of us, and you know we we still like human mm-hmm. and as much as we want to do everything that's right you know as far as you know you have to forgive others because you want god to forgive you of your sins mm-hmm. 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 but i i i i just want to uh I want to just uh, make sure that we understand something here because the grace of God is so glorious. Remember, Jesus Jesus said that before he spilled his blood. Okay, Mm -hmm. Jesus said that before he spilled his blood. With his blood being spilt now, that scripture doesn't even stand up to par now because if you've chosen Jesus as, as Lord and Savior, your past, present, and future sins have been forgiven whether you forgive or not. However, because we know that the blood has freed us, that's how come we we have to really uh, uh, grasp at him and seek him mm-hmm. to get forgiveness in our heart because we, we uh, uh, the scripture says, or oh, our father won't forgive us, but, but, but today, but because of the blood, he has forgiven us. Right. He has and forgiven us. So the door is wide open for us to g- grab on, grasp onto God to 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 strive for forgiving others. Yes. Okay. And I'm, I'm and that's a good you. motivation. It's a really good motivation. Yeah. It's yeah. it really you. is. Yes. I'm glad that you um uh, go ahead, Antoinette. You were going to say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no. I was just uh, basically saying that that is the most perfect reason for us to know that we should forgive. Mm-hmm. And I believe that's why a lot of us want to and 
we probably struggle sometimes with knowing mm-hmm. if we have because as i stated before of well if i forgave should i still be feeling like this mm-hmm. should i still be mm-hmm. feeling like that mm-hmm. so this scripture it's it's motivating yes mm-hmm. but we also need help and i think the only person that can really help us is God. And of course, we have to be willing to accept the help or to, you know, to be open. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Amen. Um, um, I just wanted mm-hmm. to just say, I'm glad that you brought that scripture into context, husband, because um, you're right. We've already been forgiven. And I'm glad that that first part is what I was thinking about as far as if you refuse to forgive, it's just the simple fact of us holding anything against Mm -hmm. anybody. And I'm just saying for me, you know, I apply that to you're the closest person that's with me. So you're with me 24 hours, 24, seven a day that can hurt me literally because you're human, not because you try, not because you want to, it's just because you're a human and so am I. And so, we have to walk out forgiveness on a daily basis as husbands, yes. right? Yes. So mm-hmm. little things that are might be petty or what have you, I have to I have to immediately let those things go, even though I want to hold Facts. on to it. I got to be like, you know what? Facts. This is small compared to I need to forgive. And it took Facts. me a while. I'm telling you, it does. Not to say that this concept, and it's a concept, mm-hmm. it's not something that happens overnight because you have to grow and just develop and you know, mm-hmm. consistently, I think just having relationships, period, will, will will flex your spiritual muscles. It doesn't necessarily mean marriage, but any relationship that you're in that are close, your children, you just walking mm-hmm. and practicing that forgiveness on a daily basis. Well, I forgive you in my mind. I'm not going to hold that against you. I'm going to treat you as though you've never done that to me. I'm going to treat you. I'm going to wake up new mercies today. And guess what? I'm going to treat you like just like Christ treats me. And that's what I'm talking about as far as that forgiveness, the new mercies, not so much the other part that we're thinking in condemnation and and law, but the fact that Christ has already forgiven us. So how much more can we extend grace? And that's where I wanted to get to the goodness of God, the grace that is sufficient for us that enables us to be able to do things we're not capable of, which is forgive. How many times are you supposed to be forgiven? The word says, um, Forgiving, forgiving, and for, but it's like I said, it takes time to get to that place. Like you said, everyone's different, um, but it does start with making that decision, and then I believe the Holy Spirit enables us to to, to walk through those different layers because it's not like you said, it's not just one layer. There might be things that happen again, and you were like, "Oh, didn't I just forgive this?" Or yeah. "Oh, that was a trigger. That just hurt me." But it doesn't mean that you haven't forgiven. It just means your emotions haven't caught up or haven't lined up. That's what that means. You see, that's why it's so important, beloved. Everybody that's listening. Thank you. On the sound of my voice, the sound of our voices, that's why it's very important for you to read your word. Yes, Father. And it's very important, again, to get together and talk about this. I believe that there are a lot of people that's listening to this episode right now that got a lot of unforgiveness in them. You see... What forgi- forgiveness is a very powerful tool that God has given us. I mean, come, come on. <laughs> I think it's one of the most powerful tools uh, that God has because without forgiveness, we wouldn't be going to heaven. Okay? That, that's first and foremost because he, for- he forgave our past, present, and future sins. Hallelujah. But you see what happens is, right? You, you summed it up very perfectly, um, wifey, because you said that uh, you got to learn to let it go. And not only let it go, but let it go quickly. What happens is, is that when you, the longer, everybody listen to what I'm saying now, the longer that you don't unforgive, or that you don't forgive is another level that's being created that yes. you got to get rid of later on. Yes, that's good. Okay. So, so what, what are some of the levels? Some, some of the levels, uh, uh, some of the levels are resentment. Yes, Lord. 
Resentment turns into anger. Anger turns into hatred. And hatred gets maniacal. But whatever the case, you do not have peace. And you will for not, and you will not forgive. Let's take a look at David. David's son raped his sister. David's son raped his sister. And David forgave his son. David forgave his son. Man, his brothers wanted to kill him. Everybody wanted to kill that boy. David forgave him. You know why? Because David remembers how God forgave him. So what I'm saying is, is that there is so much word that we can read that will help us along the way. The best way to forgive is to do it quickly. That's the action to do it quickly. Now let's just say that you're just finding this out. Guess what? The best way to forgive, read your scripture, right? The best way to forgive is uh, get together with like-minded people, okay? And what's more, what's even the more powerful way to forgive is what Sister Antoinette said. Go to God because it's his forgiveness. Yes, Lord. It's his faith Lord, that he Lord, gave Lord, to Lord, us. Lord. It's yes, his Lord. healing that he gave to us. Yes, it's his forgiveness that he gave to us. It's his salvation that he gave to us. So if you want to learn how to forgive, if you need to forgive, you, it's his strength that he gives to us. It's his power that he gives to us. Yes, so Lord. since he gave that all to us, man, it's time for you to go and get it from him. Yes, Go and get it from him. He will give it to you. He will give it to you. Why? Because he loves you. He loves you so much that he forgave you. So it's time now, beloved. It is time now. It is time to 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 go past all those levels. You know how to go past you know how you go past all those levels? Let your rationale get your rationale out the way. Because that's what's holding you. Your rationale. Oh, he did this to me. Oh, she did this to me. Oh, they keep, they, they, they're still doing this to me. What happens is that you can get yourself in the way of the forgiveness that God wants you to have for them. So, what do you say? What do you say? This is what you say. In the bad times, in the worst times, in the unforgiving times, when they're talking about you, when they're hating on you, when they're gossiping against you, this is what you say. All of you, God, and none of me. All of you, God, none of me. And then you turn to 1 John 4, verse 4. Sister Antoinette, write this down. Everybody, write this down. 1 John 4, verse 4. Verse 4. What does that say? Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You say that. And you say all is well. Also, I apologize, guys. That went off. I apologize. Also, write down <laughs> Colossians 3.13. And you could read that as well um, in, your, in your study time. Be even tempered, content with second place, quick to forgive and offense. Forgive as yeah. quickly and completely as the master forgave you. Yes. And then while you're at it, I'm sorry, Sister Anson. I'm just say this last thing. One. While you're at it, turn to you, uh, 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 take the scripture, Ephesians 4, verse 31 and 32. Look at what it says. Listen up, everybody. Let all bitterness yes. and wrath yes, Lord. and anger and clamor mm. and slander be put away from you. Look what it says. It's not finished. Along with malice. Yes, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Be kind to one another. Yes, Tenderhearted. Yes, forgiving one another. Look what it says. Look how it ends. As God in Christ forgave you. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. The good Glory to God. That's the goodness of God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And guess what? The peace that surpasses all understanding will envelope you. Hallelujah. Thank you, 
you will be it will be engrafted in you it's already engrafted in you so it will take over you and you will find yourself light as a feather yes father hallelujah 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 thank you father hallelujah have your way holy spirit have your way praise your name father thank you for your forgiveness father father god hallelujah Hallelujah. And then, and then, before you know it, before you know it, Sister Antoinette, before you know it, uh, 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 Jerry, before you know it, you're going to start seeing some things in there where you're going to, where, where you're going to find out, oh, you know what? I made a mistake here. <laughs> I made a mistake there. Oh, this is the part that I might have played in it, whatever it might be. I, I, there, you know, some of it might even been me. And then before you know, you say, oh, Lord, I repent. <laughs> I had something to do with this over here. I might have something to do with that. Maybe, just maybe. I'm just saying. But it's amazing what this sermon will, pick, will, will point out to you. Hey, Mr. Santonetta, you there? You quiet. I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening, but I wanted to say something. You Go know, ahead. if it wasn't for that pastor that came to the jail, I probably wouldn't wouldn't have been how I wouldn't have been aware of how much unforgiveness I had. Mm. Mm. And it's not and as you're speaking, it's like I, automatically I'm thinking, I've I've been forgave. I've been forgave. It's every time I've prayed, it's I've been praying to ask to deal with it. Like I want to be able to speak and not hurt from what mm -hmm. I'm speaking when it comes to that situation. So I feel like. I'm still at level one, mm. although I felt like I've released because I feel like if I didn't forgive, I don't think I will be able to speak to the person. Mm. So I was still speaking to the person. But now I need to learn. I guess that's why forgiveness has been preached, you know, a lot because it's a big thing. Yes. It's it's major. It is. It is. And I, I'm so glad that you said that, that sometimes it takes other people to open up our eyes to really realize that maybe we're not as forgiving as we think. You know, right. sometimes it takes maybe be in a relationship or somebody to come with something and you're like, mm, I really can't shake that, you know, or you, you realize that maybe you hold grudges and you don't forgive the way you thought you forgive. It's a very humbling, humbling process. And um, it's a work in process, but definitely it's obtainable because we we've been given the measure to be able to do it and um i you know what <laughs> just to, just out of transparency there were things that i had forgiven that i thought i had forgiven i didn't because every time there was things that happened to me every time i saw the person i would get angry or like hear their voice and that's how i knew i was <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't over, right. but it didn't mean it didn't mean that I didn't make I, my decision. I knew mm -hmm. I wanted to forgive them. It was just my emotions didn't catch up. I was still bitter. I was still envious. I was like, "What is going on with me, Jesus?" I'm like, "I, I forgive this person," but it was like the layers. I guess there were so many layers I didn't realize. And <laughs> but you know, it's the goodness of God that today I believe you have traversed some layers. I believe that there are just some layers that you're going through. You are not, I don't believe that you're at the first place. I just believe that God is just peeling off some layers. There's layers, but I'm just grateful yeah. that today I can praise God and say, guess what? 
that doesn't hurt me anymore. This person, whatever that happened to me, doesn't hurt me anymore because I allow God to take me through the process and unpeel those layers. And I had to face the music. I had to face, I'm still facing the music about a lot, but there's some things like you said that happened six, you were talking about like things that happened years ago, like six, seven years ago, that should have been over. I'm like, what in the world? You know, I'm like six years, five years, eight years. And imagine people, Heard is still hurting over things that happened in 40 years. And some people just don't know. They want to forgive, but they don't know how. So mm-hmm. I'm thanking God right now that they're getting breakthrough. They're getting deliverance in the mighty name of yes, Jesus. Yes. They don't have to stay yes, where they yes. are. Yes. You don't have to stay where you are. There is healing. There is healing yes. available to you. The bomb in Gilead is here right now in the mighty name of Jesus to take you where you are and catapult mm. you into your future so you can let go of whatever bitterness and resentment that may be stopping up whatever blessings in the mighty name of jesus because god has purpose for you yes Yes. you might have to walk you might have to walk through your process crying every day be like you know what i forgive every time that thought comes that's the battle in the mind i forgive you know what yes it might have come back but i still choose to forgive in the name of jesus i will walk in love i will pray for you because that's what the word says until i don't feel no more until i don't hurt no more i'm gonna keep praying Fasting, whatever it is the Lord leads you to do, but you stay on it. You stay on it. Woo! Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 And um, on that note, um, we come Thank to the you. end of our episode already. You, we, every every phase is a is a phase of deliverance, Sister Antoinette. We're gonna have to have you back on. We got we got we got to get to the root of this, yes. and we're seeing we're seeing live deliverance happen today. And I really I wanted gentlemen. to talk about the visitors as well. So maybe next time. Next next yeah, let's do it next week. Okay, this is an ongoing process. Brothers and sisters, you are seeing it happen right before your eyes, oh. right right before your ears. Hallelujah. Oh. And we're wow. listen, we, we are not exempt from it neither because we have to forgive all the time. I'm still learning how to forgive because on social media, I, I, I still go at it with people. I'm learning. I'm learning. So, um, hey, listen. To, to, to now is the time if you want to if you want deliverance if you want salvation there's only one person that could give it to you the same way he gave it to us and that's jesus so if it's 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 time it's time to come to him it's time to get your deliverance it's time to get your salvation it's time to get your forgiveness he wants to forgive and he's waiting for you with open arms yes Lord. all you have to do is repeat after me Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And I don't want to sin anymore. And I don't want to sin anymore. I recognize. I recognize. That Jesus. Jesus. Your son. Your son. Died, sacrificed his life on the cross for me. Died and sacrificed his life for the cross for me. And I want him to come into my life. And I want him to come into my life. To shape me. To shape me. Hold me. Hold me. And mold me. And mold me. Into what you, God. Into what you, God. Want me to be. Want me to be. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. I repent of my unforgiveness. I repent of my unforgiveness. And I want you, God, to, 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 I want you, God, to guide me. And I want you, God, to guide me. Into who you want me to be, God. Into who you want me to be, God. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you said that prayer, the Bible says you were born again. We believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Yes, Lord. So we say welcome to the family of God. Welcome, 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 welcome. welcome. You want to reach out to us to learn more about your salvation? You can reach out to us at UFL Ministries, I-N-T-L at gmail.com or on IG, the love chapters P-O-D. If you want to pick up Sister Antoinette's book, Face the Music, tell the people where they can get it. The book is available on Amazon. Uh, Books a Million, all bookstores. 
Amen. 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 We, get the we book. Get the book. The yes, book is yes. Amazing. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. All yes, right. yes. I, I can't even say any more about the book because you just have to go go read the book. <laughs> Antonella, we'll see you next week, okay? Yes, okay. sis. We're gonna see you next week. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. Love you. Love you too. Okay. You, All guys. right, everyone. Well, you know what? That's it. For now, like we always say, we love you and only God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit love you more. Ciao for now. See you next week. That's right. (laughs) Let me tell you why. God in me. God, you talking about? Well, it's that God in me. He said, God, what? Well, it's that God in me. God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. Well, it's that God in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught the time of truth. Holy God, hope, the strong, the good, dead, make a place, dead, and the state. This is supposed to make sure. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast.